whoa, like the cool guys. Got the fluorescent shirt. That way you can see me. Little snack. Not much of an appetite today. About one o'clock in the afternoon, all I've had is coffee. I don't know, some days are like that, I guess. Quite the change in weather. You don't need no AC today in the truck. Well, we're still in the 2010. Mainly because, uh, I think you can see it. I had to pick up a heavy snowblower. So I had to use a lift gate. But, uh, I did that and left the trailer hooked up. Hooked up for a couple days since I took that Subaru in. Because, um, I had a bunch of calls. I was supposed to, uh, supposed to clean up a whole property. Shut up. The lady's uh, brother died at a camp and right on the outskirts of town from me. He had a lot of stuff. A lot of crap all over the yard. Metal, you know. Bunch of junk. Uh, K5 square, square body blazer with a plow. All rotted. But supposedly it ran and worked. Bunch of vehicles anyway, and an old John Deere machine. Talked to the lady. Made an appointment. In fact, it was the day I was, the day I, I took in the Subaru. I specifically went in early in the morning, got rid of that. The lady said she wanted to meet up in the afternoon, have me take a look and see what I thought about all the stuff. So I said, yeah, sounds great. We got a haul in the morning, perfect, you know. Um, she said, just give me a call after. Um, you know, I live about 20 minutes away, 15 minutes. Meet you down there. <laughs> So, I, that's what I do, go down there, meet her at the house, and she says, well, that sold, that sold, that sold, what are you talking about, I just talked to you yesterday, you made an appointment, see me today, in the afternoon, to buy all this stuff. She said, oh no, I sold it all today. I've already had someone here. They trucked out the machine, the, the John Deere, and uh, they bought that blazer and bought the car. Click, 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 click. Don't compute. I said, why, why am I here then? I mean, I try to be nice as I can and professional, but I said, you... I said, so... You make an appointment with a company, with a business, a man, a human, to come down and look at this stuff to make an offer to purchase it and clean up the whole place, and then in the morning you sell everything before I get there? Makes no sense to me. Oh, I, uh, the lady was mm, not all there, I can tell you that. Oh, I had to sell everything. I got to clean this place up. I said, I understand that. That's what I talked to you about. 
So then she starts showing me all the junk, and there's old barbecue grills and snowmobiles and crap all over the yard. A boat. I don't take no boat. And, uh... She wants me to buy all that stuff. And load it all up, I said. <laughs> I said, let me tell you a little bit about what I do. I said, first of all, I said, usually I get paid to take light iron these days. I said, and, uh... I said, it's going to be a, a week of of loading, I mean, there's so much crap everywhere, but it's all just stupid metal, you know, not worth anything, I said, so you want me to load all up, and then you want me to pay for it, she said, well, yeah, I want to get paid for it, I said, well, it ain't going to be me that's going to be paying you for it, that's not what I do, I said, I buy vehicles, and that's why I'm here today, I said, because I was coming here to purchase the vehicles, and then, you know, I said to myself, well, if you know, the vehicles pan out, and I can make some money off of those, then yeah, I'd be happy to come back, clean up the junk, that's just a little bit extra bonus, and you know, if I don't make a lot, I made money off the cars, get a square body blazer, maybe I use it to plow, I don't know, you know, so possibilities are endless, so I said, uh, I said, yeah, I'm not, I said, uh, you know, I, I would, um, I would consider cleaning up the property, you know, at my leisure when I have time, loading up some stuff and bringing my trailer, you know, dump bed or whatever, lift gate, you know, take it some stuff and, uh, getting rid of it for you, I said, but no way I'm paying anything for it, it's not worth it, so she said, well, I'll sell it to the other guy, I said, well, have fun, so, good day to you, then, uh, then I was supposed to buy a 2009 Impala cop car. And uh, supposedly the back control arm's all rotted out in it, but running and driving, dual exhaust on it and everything, you know. Just a front wheel drive, you know, stupid Impala, but it was a, a real uh, police car at one point. And it had the spotlight on it and stuff. So, I said, well, Cats are good on that. It's going to be a nice payday on that. I'll make a little bit of a profit, take some parts off, and, uh, you know, kid was just driving it, runs and drives, so. Then uh, I go over to get that, and I get a bunch of bullshit about, can't find the title, can't do nothing. Can't do nothing with an 09 with no title. So. Supposedly, he's still looking for it. He's got it. It's in that house somewhere, but. <clears throat> so I'm still waiting to hear back from that, but then, uh, I got a call last night on a guy right in town, he's got a Dodge Caravan, supposedly some guy came by his house and asked him if he could buy the tailpipe off of the caravan, so he said, yeah, you can buy the tailpipe, go ahead, and cut it off, well, we all know what he was really talking about, so the guy caught him, luckily, Walking down the driveway with the cat. Had the converter right in his hand. He said, oh, I don't think so. You ain't taking that. Ripped it out of his hand, put it back in the caravan, locked it up. Supposedly it's sitting on the seat. So. Supposed to go buy that, but the guy had to go to Bangor in the morning, this morning, so he said like afternoon time, 3.30, 4 o'clock, uh, I could pick that up, and I'm hoping that the uh, cat is still on the seat, because uh, if it ain't, you know the deal, 
I won't be taking it. Maybe for free, but I ain't buying it. So in the meantime, I was uh, picking up a snowblower and, you know, fiddling around, fixing my winch cable. And I got a call from the Subaru lady. You remember that whole story? Just recently. She said, hey, I got another vehicle. Jeep Liberty. How many Jeep Liberties can I scrap? in a year so many all of them terrible vehicles so oh it runs it's got new tires and new battery yeah, same old deal I said okay I said and she said can you come it's only two towns over she said can you come look at it can you come buy it and, you know you want it you interested? I said, yeah, I'm interested. I said, but I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not paying the same as I paid for the Subaru. She said, why not? And I said, because the price of metal just went down, which it did. Yesterday, September 1st, price went down. Plus, the price I, I paid up for that Subaru just to get it, hoping possibly that I could resell or do something with it. So, she uh, puts the phone down and asks her boyfriend, and uh, they start going back and forth on it. <clears throat> he said, well, what about if I cut the Cadillac converter off? How much you give me then? And I said, uh, Zero. I say, we're not even buy it. Price of metal is not what's going on here. That's just very little. I said, the, the cat is the profit. So, they said, oh, we don't know, you know. Well, you know, did, did we tell you that it ran and everything and you could, like, resell it? I said, I don't. I don't resell vehicles. Nope, I don't do that. I said, I take them right to the crusher. They get crushed flat. And they said, oh, geez. They said, well, we just, we were moving, and it's an extra vehicle. And so finally they said, yeah, we'll take your offer on it. So come get it. So I went down there. So they say it's got brand new tires all the way around. It's got two fairly new ones on the back. Fronts are bald, flat. You know, you say, you know, they say it's a new battery. Yeah, it was a new battery in, you know, 2015, you know what I mean? Like, been sitting in there, grass grown all up around it. So... The thing don't run. It's got some sort of fuel issue. Had it at a garage. Did something to it. But, you know, that's how it goes. And I said, well, they said, oh, we've been giving your name to all kinds of people, you know, that have junk cars and want to sell stuff. And I said, I appreciate that. You know, they said, yeah, you're a real nice guy and easy to deal with. And I said, well, that's what I try, you know. I try to do. I said, but can't please everyone but uh, I said you know after I money exchanged hands and I got the title to the Jeep I said you know uh, just want to let you know someone tried to steal the cats on that Subaru and they, they were all surprised you know of course act like they didn't know nothing about it which I don't know I'm 50-50 on it they might be telling the truth they might not but they said that there was somebody hanging around there that had a past, you know, history of, uh, you know, thievery, if you would. So, some undesirables. But they think, they were blaming it on them, that they're the ones that tried to take them, but 
claim they didn't know, didn't have any idea about it. I said, well, the car got squashed flat because, um, you know, the oil pan was all rotted out and the thing was all messed up underneath. So, held it to the floor, blew it up. You say that to people, they can't believe it. But, uh, so there you go. I figured, uh, rather than tie up the money, you know, just shoot this Liberty right down. Nothing good on it. It's nothing, nothing worth saving. And, uh, just bring it down there. He'll cut the cats off. It's ten bucks. Ten bucks to have them cut the cats and sell those separately and um, get paid for the weight of the of the vehicle and make my profit. Head back to town, get that caravan. Hopefully that works out. So big black's dirty. Another shitty Jeep Liberty. Oh yeah. Brand new tires. These ones are nice. Ooh. Another snow brush and a rope. Lucky me. No rot, they said. No rot on it at all. Battery sounds good though. Brand new. 2015. This is. Ooh. Need that. 